burn for cloud. What's poppin'? Peace and love, y'all. Because you're having a great day. I'm having myself a great day. I'm chilling. I'm feeling good. And I'm wishing y'all the same. Today, I want to talk about energy vampires. These people are everywhere. They could be in your workplace. They could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. It could be you. <laughs> but I'm assuming if you're watching this type of content, you're more on the empathetic side. I was amazed by the outpour of people, outpour of responses in my empath video. It's cool to see all of us coming together in one place. I love y'all. But anyway, today I want to talk about energy vampires, what they are, why it is that we tend to attract them, and how to deal with them. All right? So energy vampires, just like the name suggests, they drain you of your energy, much like a real vampire drains you of your blood, drains you of your nutrients. And if you look at it from a spiritual aspect, you know, your energy is your nutrients. So these people, they recognize your light, all right? Being an empathetic being, being a high vibrational being, being someone who is sent to this planet to heal, to help, to wake up other people, they sense that energy, they sense that light in you. And oftentimes they want it for various reasons. Maybe they want to attain it themselves. Maybe they are somebody who assumes a victim mentality and wants your help, you know, wants your care, your compassion. Um, you know, they, they love the fact that you're a great listener, whatever it may be. Um, an energy vampire exhibits many different traits and a lot of the times they're doing it unconsciously. They don't even realize that they are sucking everyone's energy around them, all right? These people can be downers, right? I've encountered many people who are just straight downers. Like, I hate to say it, but my dad in particular is a downer, man. He always finds a way to put a negative spin on everything. But I love you, dad. But, um, you know, just, 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 keeping it, just keeping it a buck. And another time that you might run into an energy vampire is somebody who is more covertly manipulative, right? You'll run into people who find a way to always guilt trip you, always gaslight you, always make it seem like, you know, there's a reason why you need to be doing such and such and this and that for that person, right? And then another time you might run into somebody who is, you know, just all out narcissistic, right? Narcissistic is typical of, you know, more on the negative energy, the demonic type possession where they have their own means in mind at all times. And when it comes to a relationship on any level, they're solely looking to get things for themselves, right? They don't really bring anything to the table other than negativity, other than stress, other than judgment. And in return, they want your energy, right? So we are light beings, right? And us in particular have figured out how to raise our vibration, begin to emanate that light, you know, bigger and brighter. And what does light attract? It attracts bugs, right? And you may be asking, you know, if if like attracts like, right? If we are supposed to be attracting our soul tribe, if we're supposed to be attracting people who resonate with what we're saying and thinking at all times and the vibration that we're on, the frequency we're on, why do we get energy vampires? So this is a way that I look at it. You know how a superhero, right? He's a helper. He's a healer. She's a helper. She's a healer. There could be some female superheroes out there. And there are. They are bright lights, right? But why is it that they're always battling a villain? And not only that, why are they always finding a victim in their life, right? It seems like, you know, with Superman, right? There's always somebody that he's got to save. Batman, there's always somebody that he's got to save, right? And it's because along with that frequency comes the victim and also the villain, right? So while it is that you are where you're at with your frequency, with your light, with your positivity, with your gifts of helping and healing, you still will attract people who recognize that light for what it is. And wherever they are on that scale, you know, victim, villain, hero, they still line up with your energy in general, right? That's why a superhero always has someone to save and always has someone to battle. And I know this sounds like, you know, we're kind of putting, put, I'm kind of putting myself and all of y'all on a high horse saying that we're superheroes, but I mean, you know, we are some bright lights out here, right? And, you know, I'm not trying to be all arrogant, but that was just an example that I like to look at as to why it seems like we always attract, you know, those types of people. And it's not all the time, but at least for me, you know, most of the relationships I've had with women has kind of drained me. You know, a lot of my best friends have drained me always left me feeling, you know, guilt tripped and feeling like I got to pour everything I have into it. 
Um, and it's because that, you know, they recognize that we are, you know, we're different, right? We like to put our everything into relationships. We like to help someone all the time. Whenever we sense an issue, whenever there's a problem that they bring up in the conversation, we want to fix it, right? We want the world to be a better place and there's nothing wrong with that. But how do we go about protecting our energy, all right? Because I don't know about y'all, but when I deal with an energy vampire, it leaves me feeling drained. It leaves me feeling, um, you know, sick and tired, like literally sick sometimes, man. Like I'm just like, oh my gosh. It makes me kind of resent being around them. It makes me um, become a recluse to them, kind of just stay away from them. And that's actually brings me to my first point. You oftentimes, when you recognize you're dealing with an energy vampire, you have to separate yourself from them. And it can be tough because like we said, it could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your brother, it could be your sister, right? It could be somebody very close to you. And oftentimes you have to find a way to actually uh, protect your energy. Um, and a lot of times you can't get away from them in a, in a form of completely disassociating yourself from them, right? So you have to find a way of only giving out so much of that precious light that you're giving off, right? So think about when you find somebody with a problem, right? You like to hear them out 100% and then find a solution, right? Offer a solution, right? Offer them some of your own means, right? Maybe offer them some financial help, whatever it is, right? You have to remember that, you know, 99% of the time, when people are, you know, asking for someone to listen to, they really just want someone to listen to, they to listen to their problems. They don't need a solution. You know, I, there's so many times where I've been, um, you know, dealing with an energy vampire, dealing with someone who is trying to get me to, um, you know, give up a lot of the stuff that I hold inside. Um, and I offer them a solution and what comes out of it is just more anger, you know, maybe, uh, a, a longer rabbit hole of problems, right? And it just leaves you feeling drained. So you have to remember, all right, I will listen to this person. I will offer them a good and healthy ear, but there's no reason to pour my all into it, all right? You have to truly just realize that you can only do so much, right? And what's even more is something that makes so much sense to you as a solution, as a fix to their problems, they oftentimes can't see it, right? Because they would have already fixed it if they were in that situation and if they resonated with what you're saying, right? So another way, and this is more using the imagination, is you can build a shield around you. You can literally, like, I always write in my journal every single morning, I say, all negativity bounces off of me. And by that, I'm saying there is a bubble around me. And you can literally visualize a bubble when you're out in public, when you're dealing with that particular person that you suspect to be an energy vampire. You can visualize a bubble and you can understand that nothing's getting past this bubble. Inside of this bubble is all love and light, right? And any of that dark negative energy that they're bringing to the table, it bounces right off. And I'm telling you, this sounds sort of, sort of just up in the air. It's sort of like, you know, this guy's talking crazy, but it really does work but you have to be aware, right? Keep your awareness up and understand when you start to feel a little jittery, when you start to feel that anxiety, when you start to feel like you're being drained of your energy to put that guard up, all right? Put that bubble up. And then lastly, this is just a mentality to carry overall when you're dealing with these types of people. Remember that like energy attracts like energy, right? These people are oftentimes trying to, um, that actually was not a good way of putting it, a better way is where attention goes, energy flows, right? These people are trying to put your attention on something negative, drain you of your energy, and leave you with that feeling, right? And like I said, sometimes it's unconscious, right? You have to remember that, it's so simple. Like, I, like going back to the downer example, right? That guy, he wants you to join in on that negative emotion, on that negative, those negative thoughts and words that they're expressing, right? And if you remember that if you, set the intention that no, this is my energy and I'm not gonna give that out to anyone, then it makes it so much easier to stay composed and to, um, you know, you can kind of just kind of laugh at the situation. You're like, all right, I see what's going on here. I see what they're trying to get out of this, but you're not taking none of this. And that's the mentality you have to carry, right? In putting 
your attention into it and genuinely expressing you know care and effort and all of the above you are allowing energy to flow and a lot of times you know that two-way bridge is not a very healthy bridge right it's something that you don't really want to be partici participating in right so just remember that at all times i don't have to focus on this that hard i don't have to sit here and connect myself to this person in such a way that i'm going to lose all the positive momentum i'm going to fall out of alignment with the person that i am all right i hope this did something for y'all i hope you guys um you know learn something from this if you guys like this type of content make sure to hit me with a boom and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe but I've, I know that I've been around tons of energy vampires in my life. Um, let me know your guys' stories, all right? I want to hear, have you guys dealt with an energy vampire? How do you deal with them, all right? Because I'm sure that there's so much to learn from all of us. And I would love to hear your guys' experiences in general. So, hope you guys have a great day. I'm happy to be back making videos. I have a lot of content on the way. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. Remember that life is a gift. There's no stress and there is no pressure. Yo, so I'm realizing my filler word is right. I say that so many times. If y'all made it to the end of the video, man, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna work on it. Make sure to have a great day. Peace. Right.